Breaking News at 11 a.m. Breaking news now, former President Trump has been fined for a tenth time and threatened with jail time for violating the uh, gag order in his hush money trial in New York City. The now the latest fine comes after former President Trump criticized the jury selection process in a TV interview claiming without evidence that the jury was stacked with Democrats. Judge Juan Mershon previously imposed a gag order meant to bar the former president from making inflammatory statements about the hush money trial outside of court. Today, the judge said in part, quote, because this is now the 10th time that this court has found the defendant in criminal contempt spanning three separate motions, it is apparent that monetary fines have not and will not suffice to deter the defendant from violating this court's lawful orders. Going forward, this court will have to consider a jail sanction. End quote. All right, the man who broke into the Windsor Square home of L.A. Mayor Karen Bass is due in court today. 29-year-old Ephraim Hunter is charged with breaking into Getty House, that is the L.A. Mayor's residence, on the morning of April 22nd. Prosecutors say the convicted felon smashed through a glass door in the back of the home. He cut himself in the process, leaving bloodstains throughout the house. Hunter faces charges of first-degree residential burglary and vandalism. The mayor and her family were home at the time of the break-in. Fortunately, they were not hurt. Prosecutors have said Hunter was targeting the mayor. There are new details in the murders of three surfers in Mexico. A relative of American, Jack Carter Road, has confirmed the remains, along with his Australian friends, Jake and Callum Robinson. Investigators say the trio was killed in a robbery. KTLA's Alina Bovian live in our newsroom now with the latest. Alina, good morning. Jess, good morning. That's right, this was a robbery gone wrong, and now the relatives of the Southern California resident, Jack Carter Rose, have identified all three of the missing men. Now, authorities in Mexico have revealed the victims were shot in the head and dumped in a well. Take a look. These are their photos. Australian brothers Callum and Jake Robinson, along with Road, went on a camping and surfing trip to Rosarito and Ensenada. They went missing on April 29 after they did not check into their Airbnb. The mother of the Robinsons brothers declared them missing and posted their picture on a Baja tourism Facebook page asking anyone for help in finding them. On Friday, their remains were discovered near a burned out pickup truck the men were traveling in. Investigators believe the victims they were victims of a robbery. Apparently, the thieves were after the tires on the truck and the men fought back. So far, Mexican authorities have arrested three people in connection with the case. One of the suspects was found with a phone belonging to one of the men. The Robinsons had gone to the Coachella Music Festival before crossing into Mexico with their friend Road for what was supposed to be, quote, a trip of a lifetime. Callan was a member of Australia's national lacrosse team and lived in San Diego. His heartbroken parents say that he and his brother Jake were beautiful people inside and out before departing Australia from Mexico. Uh, just an open space for, for you guys to love on each other, to grieve in the community, and just, just get those feelings out. And over the weekend, a memorial was held at Carter Rose's former school, Point Loma Nazarene University in San Diego. Carter was an assistant soccer coach for the university. He lived in Ocean Beach and was engaged, getting ready to get married in just three months. Now, meanwhile, investigators say uh, in Mexico that a fourth body was also found inside that well, believed to be a local rancher who went missing two weeks ago. No word if the two cases are connected. But that is the very latest. We'll send it back to you. Thank you.